All right, this is fourth grade, module one, lesson seven. And in this lesson, we're going to be continuing to round multiple digit numbers, and we're going to be rounding to the thousands place. And we're going to continue using that vertical number line because really what we want is for our kids, our students, to uh, understand number sense and why things are working the way they are rather than just giving them a simple rule like, uh, five and higher, climb like fire, four and below, down you go. A great rule and a great mnemonic, and it'll work every single time, but it might not uh, help students understand the mathematics of what's going on, the number sense that is necessary. So let's do some practice. So the directions say to round to the nearest thousand and use the number line to model your thinking. So the first thing I've noticed our, our fourth graders struggling with is um, understanding what does the nearest thousand mean. Um, and when they look at this number, it's hard for them to see what they mean by, uh, what we mean by a thousand. Um, and so in this case, we're going to constantly, constantly be referring students to that place value chart. Teachers, please don't give them a place value chart. Make them constantly create it over and over. Ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, thousands, all right? And so in this case, we would be putting 4180 here. So they're going to see that, oh, okay, the four is in the thousands place. So what this means is we've got 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. And so the other thing I've noticed is this middle line, students want to put something there um, pretty early in, a little bit too early in the process. So really what we want them to do is first identify what what is our minimum value here and our maximum value, and what are we going to put here? And the idea is to be really efficient, if we're looking at 4,180, to round down all the way down to a, uh, the nearest thousand, or round down to the thousands, not necessarily the nearest thousand, right? It would be 4,000. And to round up to the next thousand, not necessarily the nearest thousand, to round up to the next thousand, would be 5,000, all right? Right there, teachers, parents, this part right here is the hardest, seems to be the hardest thing for students to recognize is, okay, this number is between um, two uh, thousands, uh, not necessarily the nearest. Like, it's between two, and, and in this case, it's between 4,000 and 5,000. That's kind of tricky. And then the question is, okay, so what goes here? And what goes there is it, whatever is in between 4,000 and 5,000. I've observed students coming up with some pretty crazy answers as to what's right in the middle between 4,000 and 5,000. And I've seen 4,050. I've seen 4,250. I've seen some pretty crazy answers. And of course, I've seen the correct answer which is 4,500. So parents and teachers, before we go teaching kids how to round, let's help them understand numbers and number sense, and what's in the middle and, and where this number lives on the number line. And that's really what we're doing, is we're trying to show them where this number lives on the number line in relation to the various thousands, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, et cetera. All right, and so, now that we've got our number line set up correctly, now we need to figure out, okay, so where does 4,180 live on this number line? Does it live down here on the number line or does it live up here on the number line? And it shouldn't take too much work for students to see that it should live down here. And oh, let's put it oh, right there. That's a reasonable estimation. So 4,180 lives there. And so that means it rounds down to 4,000 compared to 5,000. It's closer to 4,000 than it is to 5,000. So the, the proper, in this case, rounding is 4,000. 
We're going to do a couple more of these. We just need to keep practicing. And really what I've noticed is making that number line in the first place is the hardest part. So we're still rounding to the nearest thousand. So students need to first recognize that it's the eight that's in the thousands place. So what is our number line going to look like over here? It's going to be like 76,000, 77,000, 78,000, 79,000. So that's what it's going to look like, our number line. But specifically, we want to bound it being super efficient. So what if we were to round down to the nearest thousand, not necessarily the nearest thousand, but if we were to round down to the uh, thousands, it would be 78,000. And then if we were to round up to the next thousand, not necessarily the nearest, um, it would be 79,000. Parents and teachers, uh, I'm going to just keep saying this. This seems to be one of the hardest things. And the reason it's hard is because we're asking students to do something more than just memorize a mnemonic. We're asking them to develop some number sense. So be patient with yourselves as the teachers, as the adult. Be patient with your kids because we're asking them to develop number sense, which is inherently a tricky thing. And then, so now let's get to what's the middle. So again, I've seen some pretty crazy answers. I've seen 78,050. Um, I've seen a lot of them, a little crazy answers. Uh, I've even seen like 80,000 right here. Um, so what would go in the middle? And in this case, it would be 78,500. All right. So now that we've got our number line set up properly, we're going to write down 78,600. And now we have to decide, where does this number live? Does it live down here or does it live up here? And because 600 is larger than 500, we know it's going to live up here somewhere, not terribly close to 79,000, kind of more close to 78,500. We don't have to be perfect. We just have to be close enough to understand that it's above the midpoint rather than below the midpoint. And that automatically tells us that it rounds up to 79,000. So rounding to the nearest thousand in this case is 79,000. And the last example for this video, uh, just I'm not going to do the word problems. I'm really just focusing on the issue is how to make that number line and how to be kind of efficient about it. So again, we are rounding to the nearest thousand. So we need to look where is our thousands place. And without making a, a place value chart over here, the place value, the thousands place is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So this guy right here is our thousands place. So if we were going to round down to the next thousands down, not necessarily the nearest, but the next one down, what would it be? It would be 699,000. And if we were to round up to the next thousand, what would it be? And this one is a little on the tricky side. It would be 700,000. So what's going to be in the middle, right here, midway between the two? is going to be 699,500. And really what we want students to start recognizing is the number five is instrumental in finding midway. We know that generally midway, I can, I can come up with some ex exceptions, but not exceptions our kids would come across. But, um, but the midpoint is going to have a five somewhere in it. And now that we've got our number line correct, correctly uh, set up. So we're going to get that 699,900. Now here's our number. And is this going to live down here? Or is it going to live up here? And because it's the 9, and which 9 do I mean? This 9. Because that 9 is larger than the 5. 900 is larger than 500. It's going to go up here. And if I wanted to, I would say, well, it's going to be kind of closer to the 700 than it is going to be to the 600, uh, 699,500. It's going to be kind of up here. And we don't have to be precise, but I'm going to put it right there. 
And that tells us that when rounded to the nearest thousand, it's going to be 700,000. And that wraps up this lesson, fourth grade, module one, lesson seven, where really the focus is helping students build that number, vertical number line and uh, so that they understand that rounding is really just identifying where the number lives on the number line and deciding where it's closest to. By the way, does it have to be a vertical number line? No. Teachers, if you want, for some reason, if you want to do a horizontal number line, you're more than welcome to do that as well.